Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make sports designs in Photoshop with another tutorial or breakdown. Uh, the PSD for this will be in the description if you want to play with it yourself. And uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be breaking down how I made this um, layer by layer, really. And um, as I said before, you can find a download link to this in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off all the overlays and CCs. So you can kind of really break it down. So I'll start with just the main mask and the hex colors. So hex colors basically just the Penn State blue. Nothing much there. Um, and I didn't do too much with the background. So this is just the Penn State Stadium. Found a picture on Google. Put it to uh, black and white, which is right here in your adjustment panel. Um, and then I used a clipping mask, which is right click clipping mask. That means it's just clipped to just that layer. So it only affects that layer. Uh, so super good to know and this is just a layer mask which is here and i just painted it in there so um it's only slightly uh visible next up i just got a shape uh just to kind of fill some space and that's kind of where i tied the masks into uh so to do that um i literally just got a rectangle i skewed it and then to get that kind of curve shape uh, you rasterize it go to filter camera raw filter um optics and then up the distortion like that so plus 100 or whatever and you can see kind of how it bends the edges so that's what i did there and then i kind of use another layer mask to brush it in so it kind of fades out towards the top put it on hard light and that's that but i use that as my base to uh, branch out the other stuff so um and this is really a building um so <laughs> this is just something i got off of uh stock sites so ones i'd recommend is like pixabay or unsplash or something like that i'll have a link to both of those in the description so if you're looking for elements or resources for your designs those are good places to look this is uh honestly looking back on i don't know why i used it but i kept it in there because it added a good sense of depth i guess and darkness uh and it kind of filled out good when everything else was there but so that's that i just put it on black and white and then multiply so it's darker and that's that so this is a brush. Uh, I don't have the brush anymore because I made this a little while ago, but it's just a regular brush, uh, like Photoshop brush, but it's like a harsher kind of paper tear kind of thing. So I put that on overlay and then the Penn State logo. Nothing much here. Just kind of enlarged it, put it on lighten and use the layer mask. So it's only visible more towards the middle. Um, so there's my background. Nothing too crazy. I put a number one because he's number one. This is KJ Hamler back when he was at Penn State. Um, before he got drafted to the Broncos, I think. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And then the back mask. So for these, um, pretty simple. I just kind of threw them in there and I, I cut them out so they kind of fit to his shape. Um, so they kind of outline him um, and then filled them into that rectangle. So it all kind of comes together in one composition. Then I got just a regular white layer, a new layer, fill it white. And I, uh, I brushed it in so they kind of fade out a little. I desaturated their skin using a hue saturation layer, which is just same thing as a black and white layer. Um, then I used the layer mask to brush in their skin. Uh, put it to 80 instead of 100, but you could see, you could see it kind of just desaturates their skin and leaves their jerseys popping. And then I changed his uh, mouthpiece or mouth guard to blue so it's not so distracting. Um, so that's that and then for the main mask this one right here i did a few things so this is just the skin i made in topaz it's really not hard uh i'll show you now so just make a new layer create clip and mask you want to rasterize it go to filter topaz adjust if you don't know how to use that i have a tutorial on my sports editing one i'll have a link to that in the description as well how to get topaz or whatever um so i put it on vivacious transparency and kind of play with it um making your own skin is important because it kind of helps you stand out but this is similar to kind of what i just did so vivacious and psychedelic um and you can see how much that changes so it's not identical but uh pretty close so pretty basic skin but it definitely helps it pop a little bit um and i use selective color which is right here and it actually allows you to play with tones and stuff so uh, this is a super clutch tool and I would recommend using it if you don't so play with that you get the colors that you like and Then I pulled this Penn State logo from the back 
copied it, merged it, and dragged it on top. So here, put it on lighten, and it kind of comes over the top. So they kind of fend or er, fend uh, blend back into the background even more. So and then this text here is really simple. Looking back, it's kind of hard to read, so I probably redo it. But this is KJ Hamler. Um, there's a base Hamler in white, which is overexposed, but it is what it is. And then this blue one, I actually like how that turned out. Um, and more of like an aggressive text. So KJ Hamler, that's that. And then into the lighting and color correction. So this is really just making the colors pop. So to do this, I'm going to press Control J on my base design, merge it, and bring it here. So now we have the base one. Um, and then I'm going to make a copy of that. And then this is the camera raw filter group. So filter, camera raw filter. All I'm doing here is just playing with the adjustments uh, under basic. So exposure, contrast, um, highlights, shadows. I do this and everything. So uh, whites, blacks, texture, bump the clarity up some. And then vibrance and saturation. So it's a little dark, probably a little too much contrast too. But you get the gist. Um, so that's kind of what that is there. And then these lighting uh, groups, this is some basic lighting. Uh, I got some gradients in here. So this is just a black and white gradient right here uh, in the adjustments panel. On overlay, hard light, linear dodge, and darker color. So each blend mode will give you something different. Um, so play with those. Uh, you can look and download the PSD if you want. These are curved ones, which are this right here. And it allows you to play with how the colors are or the uh, tones are exposed. And overexpose, underexpose, get some lights and darks out. These are color lookups, which is here. A color lookup uh, allows you to get different filters, things like that. Also play with blend modes and opacities. And then this is altering. I call it altering. I don't know why, but it's just vibrance and selective color. So selective color, as I mentioned earlier, and vibrance is here. It allows you to bump up the saturation, bump the vibrance, and um, that's that. So... These color correction groups here, which are kind of harsh. I toned them down a little bit, though. These are all from packs I bought in the past. So um, if you want to take a look, the PSD is in the description. Nothing much there. Um, but you could pull from these if, if you uh, want to. So Then I also used uh, another Vibrance and Selective Color group because those color correction presets altered the coloring. Um, and then I just threw in a little more camera raw, bumped up the color, up the clarity, shadows and uh so that's that so that's the color correction done and then i added a little more final touches here so uh, i'm gonna walk through these so this is just a paper brush and tear effect uh nothing much to talk about here that's just what it is um the half tones put them on overlay and uh it helped fill space a little i think so you could kind of see it's a little apparent a little subtle but um it definitely adds a little something to it um is this is just a grunge overlay on screen so i can get a little more things coming up top um really all this group is doing is filling in some empty spots throughout the design so and then this hamler text um as you can see at the bottom it's like a glow kind of blur uh that's from this oops sorry that's from this original blue hamler so basically i just copied it enlarged it and then um to get that kind of glowy looking thing you want to rasterize the text filter blur gaijin blur i put it on about 10 or so um and then it's just on linear dodge so right there and then you can play with the play with the opacity with the uh, layer mask so that's that um nothing too much there pretty simple um and that that's really the whole design i mean nothing too crazy i went through it pretty quick but uh, i hope it all makes sense if you have any questions leave them down below um as i've mentioned the the uh, psd so the photoshop document of this uh, all these layers and everything will be available to you in the description down below um so if you want to explore there go for it uh any questions leave them below my socials are always in the description so you can hit me up on there too if you got any more questions and uh yeah man i appreciate your support uh, keep showing love and uh, that's that. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.